Today we are visiting Sunny Million, a lovely city uh, very close to Bordeaux. It is about 30 minutes by train. Uh, and uh, it is primarily known for two uh, reasons. Uh, first, uh, it is a part of the famous uh, wine region of Bordeaux. And uh, second, uh, it has very well preserved medieval uh, city center. And for that reason, it is added to the UNESCO World Heritage Site list. Um, so let's go. The easiest way to get to Santa Million is by taking a local train from Bordeaux, which takes about 40 minutes. If you are there in the summer, it's a good idea to leave as early as possible, both to avoid the crowds and to enjoy a relatively cool morning weather. Bordeaux is one of the main uh, regions of France and uh, Saint-Emilion is uh, uh, one of the main areas within this region along with uh, Medoc, uh, Pomerol and Graf. Uh, the wine tradition started uh, here as early as the second uh, century when the Romans arrived here and they started uh, to grow grapes. And uh, the main grape varieties at the moment uh, to make the wine in this area are uh, Merlot and Cabernet Franc. Saint Emilion is also known for its own kind of macaron cookies, uh, so let's check them out. If you want to go on top of this tower for the great views, you will need to collect the keys at the nearby tourist office.
This region is also famous for having dozens of kilometers of underground caves, which appeared as a result of excavation of limestone. This limestone was used as a building material, including for the famous architecture of Bordeaux. So you can say that three things have been made famous due to the limestone of the area. The local wine, the town of Santa Emilion, and the city of Bordeaux itself. This is a monolithic church of Santa Emilion. It is called this way because it was carved entirely inside the monolithic rock uh, in the 11th century. It is actually the largest underground church in Europe. Unfortunately, it was closed at the time of our visit, but if you plan ahead, it is possible to visit it with a tour. Santa Emilion is small and compact, uh, but apparently about 1 million tourists visit it each year. Uh, the town of Santa Emilion is uh, named after the 8th century monk uh, who arrived here from Bretagne and he stayed nearby uh, in a cave as a hermit. Uh, and the monks that uh, arrived after him, they contributed a lot to the wine industry of Santa Emilion. And uh, this is the only remaining uh, medieval gate leading into the town and uh, the rest of them were destroyed uh, in the 19th century. The 
the town is partly surrounded by the 12th century ramparts, uh, which contribute to its medieval feel. You may wonder why there are roses at the end of each uh, vine line and apparently it is uh, used as early diagnostic uh, system uh, which allows to uh, identify if there is harmful insects or fungi uh, before they impact the vineyards. We hope you enjoyed our video. Please stay tuned. Uh, in our next video we will share our impressions of the city of Bordeaux.